Here we go again! You rush around your house getting your bag ready for work while you gulp down the last of your coffee. Your annoying alarm didn't go off, so you've been in a rush all morning. Just as you're about to leave, you hear a shriek coming from outside. You sprint onto the street. Maybe someone needs help. You look around, but nothing seems wrong. All you can see is an upset-looking woman frantically tapping at her phone. She suddenly turns to you and says something about the battery, but she's so worked up that it was hard to understand. Maybe she missed an important call and she needs a charger. You offer to help and run back inside to get your charger. When you unplug your phone, you realize that it's out of charge too. Weird. It should have been on 100% after charging all night. You think back to your broken alarm clock and wonder whether there might be a local power outage or something. You get even more worried when you check your laptop. It won't turn on either. How are you going to give your big work presentation now? Whoops! You realize that the woman outside is probably still waiting for the charger. You rush back out, but she's gone. The street now looks like some kind of weird disaster movie set. It's filled with angry and confused pedestrians. You manage to pick up on a few words about power and batteries, and it's clear that something has gone very wrong. A guy that lives across the street is on the floor holding his knee and rubbing his head, with his hoverboard lying a couple of feet away on the ground. Looks like he took a big fall. You wonder why everything is going so wrong for everybody. The man, who usually delivers your papers, cycles up next to you. He's panting so much that he can barely get a sentence out. The battery on my bike is broken. I guess I'll have to ride up all these hills the old school way now. A friend from work runs up to you, saying her car stopped. You try to help her, but nope, the battery isn't working at all. It looks like everyone else is having the same problem. The road is completely deserted, too. You try your car, too, but that's not working either. Just as you were deep in thought, thinking about how to go about your day without your car, a giant hunk of metal shoots down from the sky and explodes into a million pieces. A drone just fell out of the sky. The street is completely filled with fire, so you and your friend run into your house. At least it looks like you don't have to worry about going to work today anymore. Your friend says none of her electronics are working. So you run around your house checking your things. You go into your bathroom and try the trimmer. Nope. Electric toothbrush? Also nothing. What about that cool remote control car you got for your 12th birthday? You look under the bed, yup, the car's there, and lots of dust too. Phew. You take it out and try. Nothing. Although, that could be just because it's over a decade old. You pull out a bundle of outdoor lights. Hmm, what will the holidays look like if these don't work? You feel uneasy, knowing that the smoke detector won't work anymore. How will you know if any of your technology goes wrong and starts a fire? Well, at least most of it won't be working enough to cause a fire anyway now. Time to check the most important thing, the TV. You pick up the remote and, as expected, nothing. You wonder if there's even a way to turn it on without the remote. After searching for a button a little while, you switch it on. You can't figure out why only some things seem to be working. The news stations are all talking about one thing. Apparently, all the batteries in the entire world have stopped working. That explains why the TV is fine. All of the channels showing emergency news broadcasts with clips of chaotic traffic problems and people despairing over their broken devices. There's a banging at your door, and you realize that your wireless doorbell won't ring anymore. That's actually good. Now, you don't even have to pretend you're not home when that annoying neighbor comes to visit. Speaking of neighbor, hopefully, his guitar amplifier won't work anymore. You might finally be able to sleep in on Saturday mornings. Oh no, your new wireless headphones will be useless now. You'll still be paying for those for a couple more months and can't even use them. Another one of your friends, Ryan, is at the door. Luckily, he's a bit of a genius, so he might be able to help figure out what's happened. It freaks you out a bit when he tells you how bad things are looking in the world. Batteries are very important for our society. 
Most of the technology we use needs batteries to function, but we rarely pay much attention to them, or at least not until our TV remote stops working. Ryan begins to explain that the first battery was invented at the beginning of the 19th century. It stores chemical energy that gets converted into electricity that we use to power things. You cut them off. Why would you need to know about that? How can you get your phone working again? He shakes his head. Apparently, scientists all over the world are looking into the problem. But it seems like all batteries have just stopped working completely. And they have no idea why. The batteries we mostly use are lithium-ion ones, the type you find in smartphones and laptops. These can be easily recharged and offer a smooth and reliable power supply. But not anymore. They're just useless chunks of metal now. The disposable ones are broken too. And now all batteries have stopped working. There's no way to store power at all. Ryan looks scared and broken. It looks like the world is heading back to the 19th century again. You thought this would all get fixed, but it begins to dawn on you how much the world will change without any way to store power. You get why Ryan looks so desperate and your face begins to pale. What will people do now? No digital watches, tablets, laptops, calculators? Will we have to memorize phone numbers or learn what's 14 times 6? How will we tell time? Who will wake you up in the morning? At least it'll be a lot easier to get to sleep early without a smartphone. Will people have to get up every time they want to turn on their TVs now? Will they have to socialize without their phones when sitting in bars? No more carrying laptops around and working on the go. You won't be able to jot things down on a Word document anymore. You'll have to get used to writing instead of typing. Pen? Paper? You haven't seen those since high school. Oh no! You might have to start reading books again. There won't be much else to do. Your Kindle isn't an option anymore, so you'll need to look into buying some real books. Ooh, that could get expensive. People will have to savor every moment because they won't be able to take pictures of anything anymore. There will be no more electric scooters or bikes. Electric cars won't be of much use either. Well, it's not like you could afford one, but still, it was good to know that some rich people out there had the option to get one. What kind of cars are companies going to produce now? Even boats have some parts charged on batteries, so they may be useless now too. Maybe you'll get to see the return of giant wooden galleons, like the pirates used to sail on. And what about planes? Don't they need batteries too? Looks like that overseas trip to Spain will have to remain on the bucket list. No more listening to music when you're on public transportation. Are you going to have to talk to people now? What about social media? You won't be able to waste time scrolling through your feed anymore. How will you ever get to work again? With no car, you'll have to run miles every day and get up early. You make a note to yourself to look into getting a horse and cart. And you'll have to remember in which order they go. Think about it. Yep, today was an assault on batteries. It's time to start some new habits now, or revive some of those old, long-forgotten ones.